Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's 4 a.m. in the morning on our side. It's a little early on the other side, so close. It's a little earlier on, I mean, a little later on the other side of the world. Well, for me, it's kind of hard for me to sleep. Um, only when I can sleep is when I'm in the studio. And most of the time I'm in the studio, I'm surrounded by like minded people, so I feel safe. I feel protected. So I feel like those are times that I can't rest, can't lay my head. When I'm at home, I can't really sleep because I can feel like the forces everywhere, especially out here. Like I can feel them maneuvering. It's kind of like, like an animal instinct. I'm pretty sure like some of y'all get animal instinct. So it's kind of like an animal instinct where you can feel when other animals are around, you can feel when predatorial animals are around, I can feel it. I live in Orange County, so of course I'm surrounded by predators. It's bigger than like skin color, like I'm surrounded by a real live predator that would most definitely eat me if they got the chance to. So, um, one of the reasons why it's hard for me to go to sleep is based upon, like, my mind. So, I'll give y'all, like, a little insight. What's up, bro? I'll give y'all a little insight on myself. And it's maybe something that y'all don't know about me, but I figure I'll tell y'all anyway. So, when we close our eyes, it's somewhat like a movie projector. And you can just project images kind of onto that black canvas when you close your eyes. For me, based on everything I know, everything I've seen and everything I can remember from this life and including my past lives and the lives prior to that and the backwards form of the rabbit hole. Whenever I close my eyes, all I hear is screams. It's a wormhole of maximum mass death. Every time I close my eyes, everything that, and it's not just with people, like it's with animals, it's with everything that is native to the planet is almost like I could hear the screams and cries of their habitats and everything being destroyed. Like recently there was an image of a koala bear walking through a fire, like, cause I guess they burnt like one of the last preserves. You know, I think koala bears' habitat is, like, destroyed to the point to where they may go extinct. So I seen it. I seen the image of it online, like a video of it. That image been stuck in my head. Like, when I close my eyes, I keep picturing the koala walking. Now, physically, you can't hear the koala. Like, in this area, like, where we live and how we perceive the world, you can't, you just see the koala walking on fire and you're like, oh, maybe it's burning. Me, it's almost as if I could understand it. Like, the fucking animal is screaming for his life. Not even just for his life. He's thinking about his entire habitat destroyed. Friends, families, brothers, sisters, areas gone. Now, hey, bro, DM me and let me know what really happened. But even, like, you, don't, it ain't too much to speak about when it comes down to Australia, bro. Because at the end of the day, based on me going deep within my own subconscious of understanding what has happened to the world, the same thing that happened to those koalas actually happened to all the native people that were in Australia also. 
So not only do I feel the cries of the koalas, I also feel the cries of the fucking aboriginal people that was there also. It's like, one of the craziest things, one of the craziest things about when I close my eyes, One of the craziest things about when I close my eyes I ask myself What have we done To deserve such punishment? I really want to think about this. Like, what have we done? Like, you could you could get online and you can watch pictures of other people just massively uh, mutilating us in large scales. Like from a planet tree. Planet tree, that's kind of wild. From a planet tree aspect. All over the world, every aspect from what have we done to deserve this? And so my question would be, If there is a God and there is a good God, why allow it? If there's a God and there's a good God, why allow it? Now, sometimes I sit here and I try to make an equation that would give me a suitable answer to not give up and keep belief in a possibility that there is a higher up that has a plan. And the more and more I start to think about there is a higher up that has a plan, the more and more I dig deep into a possibility of what is that plan. And the more and more I dig deep into the possibility I started to realize that there is no plan because majority of the animals here didn't exist. Then I started to go deeper into understanding that animals are weapons. There is a lot of animals that are weapons. They wasn't really here. Like the African honeybee. But yet, they named it the African honeybee, which is technically not even in Africa. But they named it the African honeybee so they can associate something extremely killer with Africa. The bee was created by somebody. And then got the name the African honeybee so subconsciously on a global scale you can look at Africa as a fucking bad place. Rats. It's created. Rabbits. Created. There's actually information online when these species was introduced to the world. They were, they were created and introduced to the world. So I started to ask myself this. What if it wasn't no sharks? Only animals that I believe actually existed in the water especially like mammals it's like dolphins only reason why I say that is because they're the only fucking animals that seem happy to me Every everything else is just like robotic 
I don't believe in no fucking evolution. Ain't no such thing as evolution. Dolphins are the only animals in the water that seem like they have fun. Every other animal just like a fucking robot. Like they like robotic. Like, man, dolphins have fun. Oh God, they swim in packs. They jump out the water. They hit backflips. They laugh. Oh God, they be talking. They just look happy. got elephants elephants is another animal they remember they know they talk to each other they work in groups they, it's like bro look I just yeah right. the more and more I think about this shit the more and more I ask myself why the fuck am I even thinking about this shit look that's the fucked up part about it the more and more you think about it, <laughs> the more and more I think about it, the more and more I ask myself, why the fuck am I thinking about dolphins? What the fuck does that got to do <laughs> with life? You know, none of this shit matters, but yet it matters. <laughs> Like the trap is even in the form of thinking. Like you can sit here and Google shit all your life. You can sit here and spend 60 years of your life trying to figure out what happened to the world. And little do you know you will be 60 in no time trying to figure out what happened. And you be the missed out on all the fun points. And that's where you got conned out of the whole life. Even learning, like reverse engineering the mind, is even a trap. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't believe nothing these fucking weirdos tell me. Nothing. They're all liars. All the feed the children, all these archaeologists, all these niggas, NASA, all these niggas are liars. I used to ask myself, how the fuck y'all niggas find bones in the middle of... My nigga, you know how vast these deserts and mountains is? How the fuck you find bones right here? How? And then they be brushing the shit off with a little brush. You ever look at this shit? You mean to tell me you had a little brush and a chisel and you brushed dirt? <laughs> you brushed through some mountains to find a dinosaur in the middle of the mountains? Man, if you don't get this bullshit. My nigga. <laughs> Hold on, my nigga. Hold on. Hold on, my nigga. <laughs> Hold on, my nigga. All right. Two sets of dinosaur right. fossils from the Jurassic period have been discovered in okay, the wait, Chinese stop. Chinese province. Okay, wait, stop. Stop, though. Look, look at this bullshit. Look, no, you, you got to look at the tools, my nigga. By the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology, the fossil is 5.3 meters long with multiple vertebra and complete hind legs. All right. Look, my nigga. I just want you to think about this. Fuck the dinosaur. See, this is where they get you at. They get you at this, the dinosaur. My nigga, look where they at. How on God's green earth. Was you walking through all of these, all of that, all that? Oh, God, you just came right here and found a dinosaur. Now, this is where I want to tell you the bluff is. If this dinosaur lived, no, listen to me. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. 
If this dinosaur lived over a million something years ago, that means over a million, over a billion years, wait, 180 million year old dinosaur. If this dinosaur lived over 180 million years ago, do you understand this dinosaur body would not sit this close to the surface of the dirt? If this dinosaur died over 180 million years ago, his body would not sit this close to the surface. It would be a mountain on it would be a mountain on top of that. 180 million years of mountain terrain and you mean to tell me his body is this close to the surface? Look, my nigga, they been bluffing us for years. It's a bluff. Oh, God, it's a bluff. They been bluff. This a lie. This is a grade eight. They been bluffing us for years, my nigga. My nigga. Look, bro, if you leave... If you leave a cell phone in the backyard, if you leave your cell phone in the woods, you know, hear me out. Just no, fuck that. Fuck, fuck all of that. Fuck the woods. If you leave a piece of chicken bone in the backyard in about Two months, my nigga, that chicken bone going to be about three feet under leaves. That just leaves. You leave a chicken bone in the forest in about two months on guy about three feet of leaves over the chicken bone. My nigga, this 180 million year dinosaur sitting right like this thick, this much dirt over it. 180 million years. 180 million years and you got uh, 8 inches of dirt over it. First of all, how you find... Man, look, my nigga. They lying. They lying. <laughs> my mama, they lying, G. I used to always wonder how they find dinosaur bones. How? Like, what is the technique to finding dinosaur bones? What's the technique? Now, let me tell you the other bluff. So you mean to tell me this big-ass dinosaur climbed up to that mountain by himself? Ain't no more? Like, ain't, like it was just one dinosaur by itself. Right there. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. You mean to tell me one dinosaur is at the top of the mountains by himself, climbed all the way up there and died by, what's this, a suicide sonosaurus? A suicide sore? This must be a suicide sore. Oh, God, he climbed to the, he climbed to the top of the mountains, tried to jump. This must be the first suicidal dinosaur. Oh God, he just climbed to the top of the mountain and died by himself right there. Ain't no, ain't no more. This got to be a suicidal sources, a depressive sources. Oh God, this got to be a depressive sources. I just want to know how one dinosaur just climbed to the top of the mountains and died. Man, you get your bitch ass out here and tell me what to stop worrying about. Bitch, stop worrying about what I'm worried about. Get your ass out here. Oh, God, this got to be a sad source. So I just want to know.
how did the dinosaur just find a spot to die at at the top of the mountains? Man, that mean if look, if one dinosaur is right here dead, it should be hundreds of thousands of dinosaur bones. All man, y'all niggas lying. I'm not buying it. Now look, here go another bluff. Now here go a bluff. The bluff is, it ain't even no bones. It's no bone. This ain't bone, man. These niggas carving dirt. Look at the structure of this. They would have had to dig. They would have to have a crane to dig all the dirt off. Man, these niggas carving regular dirt. <laughs> man, that ain't no bone. That's dirt. It's not bones. That's clearly dirt. These niggas found a spot and was like, let's just carve some dirt. Identified as that of a Lufungosaurus magnus by the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology. Mm. In paleoanthropology, the fossil is 5.3 meters long with multiple vertebra and complete hind legs. The dinosaur is believed Man, oh God. Look, my nigga. They been bluffing us out for the... <laughs> oh, God. My childhood ruined. Oh, my mama. My childhood just all the way ruined. They been lying to us. Look, my nigga, I just want you to really think about this. So, this is a forest. Look, 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 I, just look. I want you to really think about this lie. This is somewhere in who knows where. <laughs> oh, God, this is all type of brush forests and all that. You mean to tell me a dinosaur was right here? It wasn't, uh, my nigga, look, it should have been under. It. Look how many layers of dirt this is. Let me break down to you the layers of dirt on God. It started right here. This is about 200 million years ago. God, this is about uh, 1,800 million years ago. That's about 5 billion years ago. God, 6 million, 7 million years in 2019. Wow. Oh, God, that means the dinosaur should have been under, way under here. If this thing 18 million years old, oh God, it should have been way under the ground. Like, these are the layers of dirt. Oh God, it should have been way under there if it's 18 million years. You mean to tell me a dinosaur that died 1,800 million years ago is sitting right here on the top of the dirt? No, fuck that. It ain't even 18 million years. I, I fucked up 180 million years ago. That mean, if it's 180 million years, that mean the dinosaurs should have been under. Man, hold on. Nigga got it. That shit should have been under there. The dinosaurs should have been under there. One hundred and eighty million years, man. Oh God! So you mean to tell me a bunch of Chinese niggas with squinty eyes clearly wear glasses? A bunch of Chinese niggas with squinty eyes was walking around this road. Look at the hey, Ling Pok, you want to take walk? A bunch of Chinese niggas with squinty eyes were walking around this road. Him and Ling Pok, them Ling Pok. And Jiaoju, Ling Pok and Jiaoju was walking right here. Like, Ling Pok, you want to take walk? We walking. Wham, wham, walking. Say, hey, Ling Pok, look at this over here. Zhao Zhao, Zhao Zhao Zhao. I think you see dinosaur. Zhao Zhao Zhao. 
know it's no dinosaur limpo. Let's check it out. So they walked, they climbed up right here, wham, 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 walked right there. And then they just found the dinosaur right here. Then they went back, walked all, climbed back down, went all the way back down that way to wherever they came from. And they went and bought a tent from Walmart and went and bought some little crusty little tools, little pickaxes from Minecraft, little Minecraft pickaxe. Walked all the way back, wham, 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 and started digging. Man, you... oh God, they lying. Oh God, let me see what he got to say. Look. We found some puzzle pieces during our road maintenance work. Look, let me tell you, look how they do the voiceovers. Oh God, they be lying. Fossils were discovered in Yunnan's Lufeng County last month by road maintenance workers. Maintenance workers. Look at my boy Ling Puck. Look, do you know how they put the voice over over it? No, nigga, what was he saying in his own language? No, oh, I'm gonna make my own voiceovers. Fuck that. He's a Lee Pok. In prison, what? Do you know fucking dinosaur? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, we came in the Millennium Park. There's no fucking dinosaur over there. No, not one fucking dinosaur. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, man, they been bluffing us. Oh, God. I came to the final conclusion. Ain't no dinosaurs. Never been there. Never. That's a bluff. Never been no dinosaur dog. Man, you gotta look at these fucking liars. God, they be lying. Man, you really oh god, you got a br a paintbrush man, that's a paintbrush. That's it. You got a you mean to tell me, my nigga, I tried to dig a hole in the backyard with a shovel on oh God, I was tired. You mean to tell me you used a paintbrush to paint through the ground? You painted all the way. <laughs> oh, that's it. You did a, you got a magical eraser brush? What's this, Photoshop? This is probably some super NASA technology or something. Oh, God. You got a NASA paintbrush that know how to delete, <laughs> delete existence. Oh, God, that got to be a NASA brush or something. Oh, God, because how you just delete through rock with a paint? Oh, man. God. Hey, bluff the G. Man. They bluffed us. Oh, God. You painted through rocks and gravels with a brush. I can't even get through that with a fucking gun. Bro, I just want to know how you get through the ground with rocks. Look, he a liar. Hayan permitido que el organismo se preserve como este ejemplar, en donde se articulados, no es fácil. Descubrir... So look, let me break this down to y'all. All right. So let's say dinosaur remains found in Mexico, right? Now, this is the setup. Let me tell you the setup. These ain't even Mexicans. This the whole lie about the whole thing. These ain't even Mexicans, okay? That's the first part about the, 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 the first lie. These ain't even Mexicans, and these people don't even belong over there. <laughs> or to say, that's the first lie. All right. 
this ain't no Mexican on oh, God. This is an Irish Spaniard, Spain type of Columbus uh, nephew type nigga. First of all, <laughs> on oh, God, so I don't even believe you off the gate. All right. Now, look at this on oh, God. This rocks, man. There ain't no bones on oh, God. What's this? A giant caterpillar? What did it say? This look like a millipede. Oh God, was it a giant millipede? Yeah, shit. Oh God, that don't look like no dinosaur to me. It look like a giant millipede. I just said. Look, I'm gonna do my own voiceover. And then, first of all, look. So what happened was, we came over here. We were broke as motherfucker did. And we said, all right, look. Oh God. Man, the dinosaur, man, let's just make a dinosaur that the people come over there and cut to the left, come to the right. Oh, God, they get the paintbrush. Oh, God, they gonna believe it. We took the paintbrush over there, went to the back. Oh, God, he started painting. Oh, God, we got the cameras right here. Wham, wham, wham. My mama. Oh, God, I'm gonna do my own nigga. They don't got... Look, this is what I'm saying to y'all. <laughs> look, we been bamboozled by life. Listen to me, my nigga. Listen to what I'm trying to tell y'all. There is not a shovel in sight. This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. <laughs> there ain't a single shovel in sight. Nowhere near. I just want to know how a nigga paintbrush a hole like this. That's all I want to know. Either either we been using paintbrushes wrong this whole time. Or, look, my nigga, it ain't a shovel in sight. They got paintbrushes. I just want to know what happened to all the access dirt. Oh, God, the paintbrush could do this? Oh, this that. We been bamboozled, G. Oh God, they got the infinity eye brush. Oh God, that shit could erase and everything. Man, what the fuck type of technology is this? Oh God, what type of technology is this? Look, no, no, look, he bluffing us. No, you ain't see it. On the set, you didn't see what he was doing. He bluffing. No, look at the bluff, though. You didn't see the bluff. Hold on. Watch him right here. No, look. Watch this person right here. Just watch. Oh, God, he bluffing. Look, this a bluff. Look. Man, what you brushing? Oh, God, he just brushing anything. Oh, God, he was just brushing anything. Look, he's still just... Look, my nigga, watch him the whole time. Oh, God, we gonna go back to the beginning. You gotta watch him. Yeah, he bluff it. Oh, God, where he at? He, he just brushing any old piece. Look, look at him. Look, oh, God, he just brushing, look. Hey, they been lying to us from the beginning, G. <laughs> we been bamboozled. I swear to God, we been bamboozled badly. Why they do this? See, and this is shit I be talking about. Why lie to us like this? Like, what we ever did to just for people to just lie? These people to just make up a dinosaur. 
You know what? I get it. People just been trolling for years. This is a troll. We've been getting trolled in life. Like, life itself is a big troll. God, we just been getting trolled out of life. Hey. I should have knew something was weird when history, when when they taught us about dinosaurs in school. I should have knew something was wrong. Oh, God, I ain't listening to nothing else the school tell me. I, I knew something was just all the way off when they had whole historical sections about dinosaurs in class. Now that I think about it, oh, God, these are the same people that told us about Columbus and all. They've been lying to us from the beginning. The same people that told us that Santa Claus was real, the same people that told us motherfucking uh, dinosaurs was real, God told us Columbus found the whole world, all that. Oh, God. They fucked up all, they fucked up all this, oh, God, they fucked over us. Fucked all the way over. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Speaking of all of this shit. You know what's crazy? I lost a lot of my non-black friends when I started doing this shit. Let me get back serious. I used to have a lot of non-black friends. I used to have a lot of them. Like a lot of non-black friends. Man. Basketball friends, homies. A lot of them. I lost a lot of my non-black friends when I start like speaking on shit that mattered in the world. And it hurt because I never wanted to look at them as like that. And you know, I'm talking about people I built 10 year relationships with. and. You know, that entire 10 years of my life, like, you know, we always try to spread unity. It's like, yo, it ain't about racism and you're black and white. But the moment I start digging deeper into what's really happening, these people started to, like, not leave, but they started to, like, pull away. And they don't speak anymore. That led me to think, I see a lot of non-black people that say, I got black friends, I'm not racist. And I started to ask myself, what kind of black friends you got? And it clicked in my head. Yeah, you got black friends, but your black friends also live under the program that you designed for them. And one person told me, I got black friends. A lot of black, a lot of my black friends are at my church. And I was like... As long as they're there. Okay. I see what's going on. The truth is, the truth is, there is a lot of non-black people that get it. And I'm going to tell you about the non-black people that get it. To all the non-black people that do get it, nine times out of ten, they're extremely depressed or they commit suicide. Most people that get it, one of the reasons why they will commit suicide is because they realize they are a part of something they don't want to be a part of. I completely understand non-black suicidal now. When I was younger, I didn't, and I, I just didn't understand. I'm like, how could somebody kill itself? Like, you got life. Like, now I get it. I understand why non-black people really be willing to kill themselves. I get it now. I completely get it. It makes it makes 
and now I understand why depression exists so much in non-black races. I, I understand a lot of it now. And what it is is a lot of uh, a lot of these people have mental illnesses. A lot of all this shit it stimulates from kids saying, "I don't want to do this shit. I'm not a part of this shit. I don't want to do the fucked up shit that my family did. I I don't want to hear them talk the way they talk. It's some fucked up shit going on inside the non-black houses outside, like shit that we don't. So one of my little homies, shout out to you, Jig. Jig, I know you're going to see this, so I don't really care about putting your information on blast like that, but it is what it is. My man Jig, he be in here every blue moon. Jig, I forgot his full name, but it's Jig. Jig took a GoPro camera and put it in the kitchen and left that motherfucker running all day. For, and then, like, he did, like, about a week in a row of, like... The GoPro running inside his house. This is it reminds you. He's Jake has a nice. He's in the the upper class of living. Three things I learned about Jake's family. They speak a language that I don't know. It's not American. It's not Russian. It's not Spanish. It's not Irish. Is is they speak another language that I, I have no idea what the fuck it is. And then when they do speak English, nine times out of ten, they wake up and they are saying something about black people every day. They use the N-word all day, nigger this, nigger that, nigger this. When watch them sports today, LeBron, big nigga, strong nigga. This is how they talk. Remind you, I have been to their house and they don't act like that while I'm there. Oh, how you doing? Day wow. Yeah, nice to have you. Want something to eat? They put on that, like, perfect family voice when I'm there. But when I am not there, remind, he played me the video of this shit. It's actual video. And I was thinking about uploading it, but I was like, you know what? I don't even want nobody going over there killing them people. So, more of the story is, Jake told me, he said, this is why I feel the way I feel, bro. This is why I'm depressed. This is why, like, I cry every day. This is why I've been suicidal. This is why I've, like, this is why I've been fucked up my whole life. And I was just like, he was like, you don't understand, Day. Like, this shit happens in a lot of our families. Like, a lot of us, like, this is the stuff that goes on behind closed doors. And this is why we feel the way we were when we're sad. We come outside, boom, 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 boom. This is why, like, some of us don't want to hear this shit. And some of us don't want to be a part of this shit. And he was like, what's even more fucked up is I couldn't even help. Because, like, I can't go to a Black Panther meeting. Or I can't go to a fucking Black Panther march or something and try to help. Like, no matter what I try to do, like, I'm fucked up. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm your friend, bro. Like, if you want to come to the house and chill or whatever, we can play 2K. I'm with it, bro. And he was like, bro, like, I'm caught between a war that I don't even want anything to do with. If I, if I, if I fucking stand up for the blacks, I, like, I fuck around and get killed by somebody of my own kind. And then if I go against my own kind, I'm going to lose this. And my family outcast me for hanging with you. And yada, yada, it was like all type of shit. And I was just like, fuck. He was like, bro, like, sometimes, like, I had to talk bro out of dying. I'm not going to lie. Like, he literally has told me, like, numerous times. Like, he sent me messages numerous times. Like, I can't take this shit no more. I'm going to do it. And I'm like, bro, don't do that shit. Like, fuck you going to kill yourself for? Like, don't kill yourself on no weirdo shit. Oh, God, let's do it right. Man, don't, if you going to kill yourself, oh, God, don't do it. Don't do it on no weirdo shit. Don't just blow your brains out in the corner somewhere. God, you got to do it right. And what do you want me to do? Man, look, go into your mom account. On oh God, let's take out about a good 50000 On oh God, let's go, buy a, let's go buy a giant skyrocket. On oh God, and sit on the top of that motherfucker and shoot it up. Oh God. Man, no, don't, man, if you're going to go out, go out with a bang on oh, God by a giant rocket. Strap that shit to your back. God, let's blast up there. Bam! 
if you gonna do it, do it right, G. And he be like, see, see, you always make me laugh, man. Like, that's the only thing that make me not do it. Like, you always got some fucking crazy ass idea that just make me fucking happy to be here. He's like, you truly the best, Daylight. I'm like, see, G, that's what it is, happiness, man. Like, fuck the world. Oh, God, man, you can't be just killing yourself like no weirdo. Man, oh, God, we got to do it right. I was like, look, I think about it every day. I don't ever want just a job to think I don't think about suicide. Oh, God, I think about it every day. Every day, I be like, oh, God, I'm about to jump. Man, let me tell you what stopped me from killing myself. You know what, you know, you know what's so fucked up? Oh, God, they don't, they gonna fuck around and bring your bitch ass back to life. Said I think they'll do that to me. Can you imagine jumping off a bridge thinking you gonna die? Oh, God, you wake up in a wheelchair, a vegetable. You talking about, am I in heaven yet? Your mama talking about, Never walk again. Oh God, I ain't about to try to kill myself. It was sad. Oh, my, my, I ain't never killing myself. Yeah. Take it with your ass right back. My mama. Hey. Huh. I'm going to tell you though, me and the homie was talking about this today, we was talking about defeated, we most definitely defeated, we most definitely defeated, so we got to embrace the L, so now that we defeated, we know we are defeated on a large scale, nigga just got to embrace the L, maneuver through this world the best way you can, so I realized my objective while I'm here is just to make people happy. That's it, on oh God. I just want to make y'all laugh, make y'all happy, make y'all smile. Because that's the only thing I can give to this world. I can't give y'all nothing else. I, if I give y'all all the information, some of y'all going to be depressed and go crazy. I can't, if I tell you what's really going on, you're going to lose all type of finances and all type of shit. So the only thing I could really give y'all is happiness, man. Only thing I could do is just make y'all laugh. That's that's one of the things that I've realized that I got to do. I just, just got to make y'all happy, bro. And it's even the niggas that get it. Hey, bro, when I say we defeated, we defeated. Want me to tell you why? Soon as we try to start something that's for our people, you know who's going to come kick all our ass? Oh, God, the Hebrew Israelites. Them niggas on standby waiting. I can imagine now, January 1st, 2020, all black people unite together and in front of the line, Brother Polite said, oh God, and at that exact moment when the Hebrew Israelite niggas hear the name Brother Polite, oh God, they coming out with ninja stars, oh God, they go jump out the bushes looking like Rita, Rita from the Power Rangers. Oh God, the Hebrew Israelites, nigga, they waiting for polite. <laughs> they waiting for brother polite. Oh God, they ain't gonna let him live. My mama, <laughs> the Hebrew Israelite niggas wait, oh God, they wait for brother polite. They hate him with a passion. Oh God, they believe he the Antichrist. Oh, my mama, the Hebrew Israelite niggas gonna come down with the little Yu-Gi-Oh outfits. Oh, God, they gonna be throwing all type of ninja stars. <laughs> Sit. No, you know what they gonna do, though? My mama, you know what they gonna do if all the black people unite? You know what they gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what they gonna do. They gonna click a button in all the sports players' heads. Oh God, and the sports players gonna fuck over. You think they getting these black niggas in shape to play basketball and football? Never. They getting these niggas in shape to fuck over us when we try to march. Oh God, they conditioning these big old giant niggas. Oh God, they conditioning them. 
these niggas going to be in tip-top shape for the war. Oh, God, we going to be at the front line talking about we want equal justice. Oh, God, you going to see LeBron come from the other side talking about, yeah, he going to throw a basket. Because you know how LeBron be throwing the passes. Oh, God, he going to throw a basketball so hard. That shit going to look like a Hadouken. Oh, God, he going to throw a basketball. That shit going to go straight through a nigga. Wham! Oh, my mama. <laughs> hey, my nigga, if we... Hey, on some real shit. If we was prote protesting and marching and all the NBA players came and said, y'all niggas better go home or else. My nigga, have you ever seen LeBron in person? Have, have anybody ever seen LeBron in person? Oh, God, when I first seen him, he made me feel like a woman. Swear to God. God, I'm standing next to him in the game. High school game, I'm standing next to him. Made me feel like a girl. Man, I was 5'11". Man, he's 6'9". Monster. Monstar. Oh, God, I was ready to give up life. My mama, when I when I stood there next to them, at that moment I realized I wasn't going NBA. God, man, these niggas is demigods. I don't care what y'all say. They are real live Nephilims. My mama, these niggas is real live monsters. Like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. For real. They like Goliaths, bro. No, you're not. No, I'm, I'm serious. Look, my nigga, I don't give a fuck how much heart you got. When you stand next to these niggas, they don't make sense. When you stand next to Dwight Howard's and all these niggas, they don't, it don't, you don't understand, my nigga. <laughs> it make you feel like less of a human. Like, that's what a human is supposed to look like. Oh, God, six, nine muscles. And optimum peak, <laughs> optimum peak body position. Oh, God, these niggas, demigods. What you would do if... The, <laughs> my nigga, do you understand Shaq could beat up nine regular humans at one time? That's a... Like, we're talking about not... not well, new chubby Shaq might even do even more damage. We're talking about Shaq and his optimal peak performance. Shaq really a... Manu Did you see what he... Hold on, God. Shaq highlights... <laughs> Oh, my mama. Bro. This nigga right here. <laughs> I don't I know Michael Jordan that nigga. I can't front. I know Jordan that nigga. I'm that's cool, my nigga. That's all cool. I know Michael Jordan that nigga. But Shaq might be the most vicious nigga that ever touched the face of the NBA. I I know oh god. Shaq might be the most viciousest human being to touch the face of the NBA, bro. I I fuck with Jordan. I fuck with Jordan, my nigga. Jordan, that nigga. Don't get me wrong. This nigga wasn't right. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. Shaq was like some other... We talking about we talking about young Shaq, my nigga. Young Shaq was a different type of animal. Look, how you dunking all them niggas?
Oh my God. So stupid ass out the way. Man, look, this is what you this is what you not understanding. This a grown man. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, my nigga. This nigga, David Robinson, is seven foot one. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my nigga. This is the nigga that Shaq dunked on. This nigga is seven foot one, built like a demigod. And this is the nigga that Shaq pulverized. Seven foot one, built like a war tank. And this is the nigga that another nigga pulverized. This is what you not understand. <laughs> My nigga, look how his body fly to the side. Look. Yo, my nigga, look. Look, my nigga, look at his body, though. Look. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, my nigga. Look, though. Look how he pulverized him, look. My nigga, that's this nigga, bro. This nigga flew like that. You not understanding, my nigga. This bad, bro. Get off me. Oh, and say, look, watch out. Oh, God. Oh, get your bitch ass. Oh, that's sad. Oh, God. How you just do this? No, look at, look at the sound that he made. No, you didn't hear it. Look. Oh my mama.